Uh, Hewitt asked me if I would provide a short comment on the dental project we as a Rotary Club of Wellington have been involved in for almost a year. The project is, is uh, located in the Kikori province of uh, uh, Kikori, in the Gulf province of Papua New Guinea. That means it's quite remote, very remote in fact. Currently there is no dentist in the area at all. The estimated total cost of the project is around 80,000. Our contribution, I hasten to say quickly, is 13,000. We've already paid that amount and it's mostly for dental equipment. Our allocation and our early involvement has meant that we are the lead Rotary Club in what will, I think, become an exciting project. The unique feature of Kikori is that we aim to make it a permanent facility. A bit of background. Since independence in 1975, Papua New Guinea has struggled to maintain even basic services. People, particularly in the remote areas, have been almost <coughs> totally ignored. And I notice Mick Hurley here, he'll have similar <laughs> problems in Solomon Islands, I would have thought. <laughs> they tend to be that way. Uh, this situation has had tragic consequences, particularly in the medical services, but also in dentistry. It is even more tragic when one realises that PNG is becoming an exceedingly rich country as the contracts are signed for oil and gas uh, uh, contracts with the major players worldwide. Indeed, the major oil companies are now involved in mineral and drilling activities throughout Papua New Guinea. In discussion, Jenny Lean, who many will remember is a former member of our club, and I agreed that the most successful development projects leave local, trained professionals in charge of the operation who are capable of carrying on the work after the project has been established. I hope, even in the light of the MFAT uh, reorganisation, there is some vestigial notion of that within that organisation. <laughs> I'm always an optimist. <laughs> Jenny has done a magnificent job in engaging the dental faculty at the University of Papua New Guinea. Over the last few years, that faculty has produced capable graduates. On this project, once it's up and running, locals will be in charge. We have established a working relationship with Oil Search Limited. By a happy coincidence, the Kokori area is in line with the export pipeline currently being explored by Heritage Oil. By a further happy coincidence, Jenny is the PNG General Manager of Heritage Oil. <laughs> there is no question that this is a complex operation, but that does not mean that we should not try. You may remember the previous dental project we were involved in, which seemed to get rather more involved in pulling rather than filling the teeth, nevertheless successful. We reckon the only way to improve the situation was to put together a more rounded package. There are, of course, large numbers involved. As well as the oil companies mentioned, Rotary Port Moresby has expressed interest. The Australian lecturing staff at the dental faculty in PNG University are fully engaged especially through the Australian Dental Association. An Australian dentist has offered three weeks of her time to mentor the local Papua New Guinean dentist. Franz Nieberding, a former stalwart of this club, now living in Germany, will assist when he receives more details. A medical instrument technician has been trained and is working in the town of Ley. Nowhere in Papua New Guinea is close uh, but he is reasonably close. We expect him to install equipment and return periodically. The key factor, of course, is that Jenny is in overall charge. Not only does she have experience in the area, she is a Rotarian committed to the project. As in the previous project in Papua New Guinea, we need the full support of those involved back here. I want to thank the current Board of Directors, and particularly President Hewitt, the Finance Officer Wayne, for their forbearance and interest 
as Jenny and I negotiated our way through, I'll call them, the complexities of this project. There's a good deal more to say, but we are we're carrying on under President-designate uh, Tony Hassett. Uh, and Tony has taken a close interest in what we're doing in the project to date. The International Committee has also been helpful in a relaxed way uh, to the whole action. We'll be actually having a meeting after this meeting to bring ourselves up to date on how we're doing. Uh, and just a reminder to those who are on the International Committee to remember to turn up. Uh, one final point is that on this occasion we'll be working hard to get the publicity right. The project involves three separate countries, a fact that I think deserves special attention. I'm grateful to Fraser Carson for the interest he's shown in getting the message out there. We hope to get something underway fairly soon. Fellow Rotarians, thank you very much for your interest in it.